So just give people a few minutes. I also figured out my video card has been, uh, or my graphics card in the PC. Mm -hmm. I noticed I've been playing Fortnite on PC lately, and it's been keeping track of my kills and recording them. Oh, yeah. And all the times I got myself blown the fuck up. I have a I have a lot of videos of me getting the and getting the Kamehameha out of I mean, like getting the shit Kamehameha out of me. Yeah, I've done that a few times already. As well. <laughs> it's not fair. Well, to be fair, I'm starting to get better with the guns. Yeah. That and I finally turned on uh, the sound reticle thing that uh, everybody else has been saying I should turn on. I didn't understand where of what the hell I was doing wrong, but I figured it out. What? Well, I didn't have it turned on in the first place, and everybody was telling me to turn it on, but I couldn't figure out how to navigate through the friggin' menus properly. Hmm. Then when I finally figured it out, I'm like, oh, wow, that would explain why I suck so much. And it actually helps. I actually killed two people today. Oh, joy! Just giving it a few more minutes, everybody, just so that people can get in. No worries. Actually, while we're waiting, this is a perfect time to bust out voice redeems if you guys want them. Haven't gotten that far yet, Hannah. I can't give you spoilers. It's all right. Oh, God. Here we go. Now I understand. Well, well, well. More wrestling action. Looking forward to seeing who's on the card tonight. No spoilers. <laughs> Shit. I didn't even realize it. I sell pain and pain accessories. That doesn't sound very nice. We broadcast for a wrestling company. My dude, violence is our specialty. Around here. Good enough. Oh, there he is. I'm getting out of here. Ugh, got my coffee. 
All right. Oh, look at that. Not a flashbang. Thank God. Well, I, I just needed to uh, repair because I got to get head. I got to head out there. Wait, wait, what? What do you mean you got to? What? Aw, oh, come on, man. I'm getting left alone out here. Are you friggin' kidding me? Don't worry, I left you a whole one present right there. Hey, wait a minute, what the fu- Oh, no, 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 no! Why is a hole? Oh, he's gonna pay for that. He spilt my coffee. Oh, that stuff. Well, it's not so much the factor that he spilled coffee all over me and my table. It's the factor that it's still hot! Ow! Oh, he's gonna pay for that. Hi, am I late? No, you're right on time, but Shad's up in the backstage area because he's getting ready to come out for this. Yeah, huh? Thanks. Thanks, Nightmare Emperor. I really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, the opening contest here at XBWL Sunday in the Slaughterhouse is a special 20-man battle royal. In this competition, pe people will or will enter according to the number that they drew. This will happen until all 20 superstars have made it into the ring. Elimination occurs when you go over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last man standing after all 20 participants have entered the ring will be declared the winner. So for now, let us find out who drew number one. Oh, boy. Is that Mr. Rice? Holy shit. Introducing participant number one from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is the ravishingly perfect one, Mr. Wright. Not going to deny that Wright might have drawn a shit number for this battle royal, but he's a technician and his specialty is stuff in the ring. So maybe not throwing people over the top rope, but he'll do a damn good job wearing people out. That is true. All right, let's see who drew number two then. Shiva. Oh, this is going to get brutal real quick. <laughs> a martial artist versus a striker. Or, sorry, versus a ring technician. Ladies and gentlemen, the individual who drew number two from Wood Oak City. This is Shiva! <laughs> right, getting out of the ring, letting him have his little moment here. Yeah. Here we go. And right away, Shiva tried to go for a grapple. That probably wasn't the best idea. Nice counter. Shiva now grabbing a hold of, ooh, right, and getting some good shots in here. Oh, Shining Wizard. And we're already getting our next entrant coming up in about five seconds. Who's it going to be? That was quick. Oh my god. Oh, now both of them are in trouble. I can hear the orcs and the freaking nosebleeds. 
Grax taking notice and immediately Shiva trying to take him out. Bad idea. Yeah. Right. Oh, trying to go for something there. Shiva with a counter. Grax biding his time here. Watching right. Oh, wow. We're getting another entrance that quick. What the hell? Oh, I guess. So fast. Maybe they changed the rules because this is an actual show. Oh, wow. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, Shiva with an elimination already. Oh, my God. Grax is eliminated already. Holy shit, Shiva got lucky there. Clothesline, clothesline coming, Shiva used his momentum and took him over the top rope. Grax is not happy. No, he's not. He wants to get back in there and rip his head off. I'm sure of it. Doesn't matter anyway. Grax knows he'll get another chance to beat the hell out of people anyway. Yeah. And, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, shit. One Nightmare Imperium, Denizen into another, Umbral. If I'm mist not mistaken, has a date with Oblivion. Indeed he does. The next pay-per-view, they're going to be battling over who gets to have the international championship. And Umbral made a beeline for Shiva. Might have been a bad idea. Yeah, Shiva getting in some good shots here. Forearm shot, and Umbral gets rocked. Uh-oh. Steve Roller. Big guy coming. And Shiva tried to go for a punt kick. No luck on that. Umbral. Steve Roller actually saved Umbral there. Oh, shit. Barely. Shiva's been busted open, I think. By the looks of it, yeah. And Umbral now taking his, mind, or taking his eyes off of Shiva. That might be a bad idea. Oh, it's a roundhouse kick. Shiva gets a kick in on Umbral. A little pistol starter trying to intervene, and Shiva just nailing him with knee lifts. Oh, no. Oh, what? What the hell is he doing out here? What the hell? Abominon not wasting any time. He picks up Shiva, trying to go after him first. Roller trying to get some taunts in, and Umbral super kicked a little pistol starter, almost knocked him right out of his boots. Ooh. Forearm shot, no luck. Shiva's also bleeding. He's at a bit of a disadvantage here. Yeah. And Umbral really laying in so roundhouse kicks right oh boy here comes stomach cake they just keep getting bigger oh boy Is that a russian leg sweep from shiva on a babadon look like it trying to wear the big guy down stomach ache dealing with mr right probably not the best idea Trying to rake the face. Meanwhile, Shiva trying to break Abominon's fingers. Or at least rip him out of the... Oh, my God. Oh, boy. One more coming. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's Shadow. He's only got 11 more... Com the commentary table. He's only got 11 more competitors, with the, in, 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 despite the ones that are already in there. And him and Umbral try to lock up first. And Umbral says, hell no. Shiva is really laying into Abominon, but he won't eliminate him. Oh, Shiva, you need to throw him over the ropes. Roller almost eliminated there. Abominon's yeah, bleeding. Busted open, I think. Oh, there goes oh, Roller. There goes Steve Roller. And again, Shad and Umbral really laying into each other. Umbral going right back after Shiva here. Abominon going after little pistol starter. Trying to maul him. And he's got him up on the top rope here. Oh, God. Little pistol starter's in deep trouble if he can't get out of it. Abominon just trying to turn him over. No luck there. And I think Abominon... ...to break out. That's really good. 
I think Abominon might have actually saved right from an elimination there by accident. Oh, final crash from Shiva to Umbral. Shiva and Umbral are really laying into each other. I'm a little surprised here. Hello, Dustin. Welcome. Forearm shot. TNT! CAW's representatives are still coming out strong on this one. Roller might be gone, but TNT can pick up where he left off. So is there anything on the line for this 20-man battle royal or no? No, this is just for the fans, to for, uh, for them getting into the building. Okay, then. On top of that, Shad actually putting up a decent fight here. Abominon hung up in the yeah, ropes. Whoa. Yeah, him and Shiva are going at it. And oh, there goes Wright. Yeah, there goes Mr. Wright. Abominon, I don't think has noticed that Shad's in the ring yet. Probably for the best. Oh, right? Umbral tried to go for a Hurricane Rana and Stomach Ache caught him. Oh. An insane oh, amount Mr. of lasted, oh, Mr. Wright lasted a pretty good while in the ring with that many people in there. Considering him and Shiva were the first two that started this thing, you're right. Yeah, and Shiva hasn't even been knocked out yet. But he is bleeding pretty profusely from his forehead. Oh, whoa, heavy clothesline onto Shad there. I think I heard Shad freaking let let out air like a windbag there. Oh, hope he's okay. That looks solid. And going after him again, sets him up in a forearm shot. And now I think, oh no, oh maybe not. Umbral, Umbral, Umbral eliminated down. by TNT. Heavy forearm knocks him off the apron. Oh shit. This could get interesting. Shiva and Shad determined to go after each other here, and Shiva laying it on thick. Nothing happened backstage between them, did it? Oh, I don't think anything happened backstage. Shad knows exactly how competitive Shiva is in the ring. If he okay, thought that Shiva point. and him, if if either of them thought that one or the other would go easy on him, they're deadly mistaken, and that's the whole thing. Wait, did Shepard already get eliminated? Looks like he did. <laughs> I didn't even see what the hell happened. Who eliminated him? How the hell did he get eliminated? I don't know. I think he might have gone between one of one of the others and got knocked out of, as a result. Possible. I mean, little pistol starter and stomach ache are supposed to be a team, and here they are going after each other too. Uh oh, green missile. And Shad pointing up toward the aisleway for Luigi. I think he noticed. Oh, well, no, never mind. Now I see who he noticed. And Abominon narrowly dodging a headbutt. Oh, God. No, oh, forearm shot. I think Abominon actually knew Shad was in the ring. He might have been waiting for Steven to wear him out. Good possibility. Yeah, one half of the tag champs is right, Cole. And here we go again, Shad pounding on Abominon's back. Meanwhile, Shiva locking up with Luigi. And this could be interesting because both of them have some pretty dynamic kicks and punch moves. Super kick misses. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Shiva kicking the hell out of Luigi. Oh my God, and Shion's noticed Abominon first. And he went right after him. Look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Jeez. And, oh. him over the ropes just from there. Almost Wait. chucked oh, him out of the ring. Oh, got eliminated, looks like. Looks like stomach ache. Yeah, he got eliminated earlier on. Abominon trying to take out Xion with the, ooh, shoulder trap kind of wear down move. And it's working. Down he goes. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Uh -oh. Who's going where here? Sha oh. Nice kick combo there by uh, Shiva in the corner. <coughs> Trying to keep an eye on everything that's going on here is insane. No kidding. Oh, spine buster! Oh, no. Oh, God. bomby has got some backup. Great. Then again, Shion and Shad both can back each other up, so maybe it won't be that big of a deal. Oh, my God. They go after each other. Whoa. Shion is dead set on going after Abominon. He hates him. Abom oh my god, Shion eliminated Abominon off screen. Oh, nice. And Whoa. but somebody else went out too. I think that was TNT. Yeah, TNT got taken out by Anderson. And look at this, Shad and Shion locking up. I knew this was going to happen. Good opportunity to test the two of them against each other. Oh my god. Heavy suplex by Shion onto Shad. He didn't even see it coming. He just got completely lifted off the ground like he was a toy. And again, caught in midair. Oh, backbreaker. Ooh. Shion tried to get involved between Sha uh, between Shiva and Anderson, and he ended up getting ooh paying for it. Luigi missed the super kick. Here comes Max Power next. And Anderson trying to overpower Shad in the corner. Shad with a couple shots and a forearm. Yeah, a couple more catching Anderson right, right in the side of the head with them. And Shiva going after Max with those open palm strikes. Okay, sorry, I had to step away for a second. Who all went in? So far, okay, Abominon eliminated Shion, or, or sorry, Shion eliminated Abominon off screen. Shad is still out here and the demon is making his presence known. Oh, Max Power took uh, about onto Price looks like. Oh, geez, super kick. That's true. Now Rocket Isle trying to figure out who to go for. Looks like he's going after a little pistol starter. And oh god, Shiva up oh, god. and oh, he's gonna go for that that early. Power bomb. Luigi, damn close to getting eliminated. Never mind, he's oh, gone. There he is. And Anderson, knee smash right to the side of Shad's head. Oh dear. Jesus. Everyone's, oh my God. All, everyone's all over the damn place here. Shiva that with a final crash. Down. Shiva hitting his finisher on Shion. And a clothesline for good measure. Shad, he's still out of it. He's dazed in the middle of the ring. Looks like he snapped back out. Looks like he snapped out of it. Smacking Max Power to the ground, but Anderson backing away, trying to get out of uh, the involvement. Never mind. Shad turned around and went right after him. Oh, oh atomic drop. Who's next? Oh, oh my God! God. Like I said, they just keep getting bigger. And Anderson trying to get rid of Shad here, right in front of us. Oh no! Shad's been out there a hell of a long time. Uh oh! Oh, oh no. no no no! no. Ah, damn it! Anderson throwing Shad over the top rope and going right after Max.
Chad had a hell of an effort in this match here, though. He lasted to 17, almost yeah. made it all the way to the end. And Sheon has got the demon by the throat. Choke slam! And by the looks of it, yeah. Here you go, Shad. Here's your broadcast uh, headset. Well, it was worth a try. I don't really care. I mean, I got to watch all that, that old demon fart get chucked out by Xion. So, hey, I'd say that's more the effort. That's true, too. And Xion, speaking of which, F5 to Shiva. Xion not wasting any of that brutality of his. And, oh, Shiva with a counter. Anderson now trying to outmuscle Max Power. Max over the top rope here. And Rob from the regime is making his presence known. And Anderson, I think, might have just gotten his nose broken again. By who? <laughs> I think little pistol starter caught him with a knee lift. I would have laughed so hard if it was Max that did it. Oh, God. Rob up, uh, up over Anderson's head here. And Anderson oh, is on, showing off. Shiva got eliminated off screen. This is getting nuts. What a kick from little business card. Right? Ooh, jeez. Uh-oh. Inkling Rob and Rockadile now trying to duke it out. Meanwhile, Shion running a foul of Anderson. Anderson trying to get Xion over to the corner and Xion's bleeding. Anderson trying to outmuscle Xion here in the corner. Not doing a very good job though. Xion hasn't even left his feet completely yet. <clears throat> How are thinking about trying to not. Oh geez. Whoa, Rob dangerously close to getting eliminated too if he wasn't careful. Whoa, she on the billion going at it now. Balkamania is running wild here. He got a damn lucky number here. Oh, yeah, you might be right there, Hannah. I think Shiva might have broke Anderson's nose, not a uh, little pistol starter. Oh my god, Rockadile with a spinning lariat almost took the power's head off. Whoa, disrespectful slap from Shion. Wait, was that Anderson that got slapped yeah. or was that Max? That was definitely Anderson that got slapped. And Sorry, Oblivion was... and Oblivion just busted open bulk and he just got out there. Oh God! Hard lariat by Rockadile. And Bulk laying in some groundwork here with some elbows and a stomp to the face. Little pistol started trying to Oh my god, him, Max Pow well. Mac Oh my god, did you see that? Was that an OP bomb on the that was an OP bomb on Xion, and not just any OP bomb, he literally popped him up. You know, kind of like Alexi's pop-up powerbomb. He caught him in mid-air, still managed to lift him up even higher, and then powerbomb him. Jesus. I've never seen anybody lift Xion like that. This uh -oh. goes to show how Spit Xion returning... Oh. Rishion returning the favor, power bomb into a Samoan drop. Oh. Bulk messed up trying to eliminate. Uh, oh, God, there goes the demon. Demon a little too wore out after that one. That means we've got one entry number coming. Who's it going to be, though? That's a good question. Max might be on his way out of here too, by the looks of it. Yep. Oh. Eliminated by Xion. And Xion is coming up behind Oblivion. And there goes Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> and look at and this. Oblivion 
the one that knocked him out. Oh, that was worth it, pretty boy. Oh, God, this is gonna... No! That almost shook the ring. Jeez. Oh, Ooh. wow. And Rob crushed by a big splash. Bulks over the top. And oh my god! Little pistol starter just um to oblivion. He made a huge mistake. You think he made a huge mistake? Oh my god! You see the impact? Oh no. Oh what? Why is he in there? Why the clown? He's part of the roster. This lasts as long as he has. He's part of the roster. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice with him. Great. And oh god, Shion out onto the apron and little pistol starter getting some good shots in. And Shion dangling by a thread here. Well, Oblivion and Pew Kevin at it. And oh, little pistol starter, very, very close. And oh, Oblivion with a choke slam. Rob getting some ample time to recover here. He needs it after that big splash he took earlier. Yeah, he needed the ropes just to hold himself back up. Ooh, that sneaky bastard. How is little pistol starter still in this? The guy's a lot more cunning than anybody gives him credit for. He's a oh, little I'm not disputing that, but he, he's literally in a ring filled with giants. He's still standing. We also got to take in mind the stable he's with is full of giants. Oh my God! Oh no! Holy God. shit! Olivia's out. Lil Pistol Starter caught him with a super kick and got him over the top rope. Oblivion can't oh believe God. it. Did he just pick up Shion? He's got to be having an adrenaline rush or something. I mean, wouldn't you, after super kicking a guy that's like three times your size over the top rope? Yeah. I guess, but holy shit. He might end up paying for that in the long run. Because we've still got Shion out there. Which means everybody else is smaller than he is. Oh. Everyone that's left in this match... Oh god, she on going for the puke now. Shion tried going for something big, it didn't work. And whatever the hell puke's trying here, it's like a spinning toe hold. It's kinda working. Bye. Afternoon, Kaiser. Hard forearm shot. And again, Shion finding himself down. Oh, yeah! Oh, God! Ah. Whoa, Shion shrugged it off and... He, oh, God, he's mad. This is the opener, Kaiser. Throw him out, Shion, please. Oh, my God, I think he's going to torture him first after what he just did. Shion's angry. Honestly, I don't blame him. Oh my god, Chuck and puke around like a rag doll. That might not be good. Might be best to just eliminate Whoa, Rob him. Rob now Rob though. now swinging at him. Took his legs out from under him. That might be a regrettable decision. Wow, puke having the litter Puke having literally no qualms about what he does to people in the ring with that disgusting ugh. Ugh. Then again, he is unfortunately one of XPWL's like staple points. Yeah. One, one of our first superstars. Kaiser the Clown has some kind of issue with his stomach. He won't divulge on what it is. Maybe it's better we don't find out. I'd rather yeah. not find out either. Speaking of which, Puke grabbing a hold of Shion, trying to get him to the ropes. Shion trying to fight back. 
Little and pistol starter the with a running start. There goes Rob. So now there's only three left. Final three here. And yeah, pistol starter trying to get something going for him. Sheon now mauling him like a bear. Till Puke arrived. Ooh, headbutt to the back of the head. And these two, I don't know if this is advisable. Hard DDT into the canvas. Don't think you should have been taunting there, Pu uh, Shion. And look at this, Puke trying to get him over. I don't think he's got the strength to get him up that high. You, you nope. Say, uh, no, he does not. Mark. Well, we've seen other people make that attempt. Oh, here we go. Look at this standoff. Ooh. Looks like Shion and a little pistol starter at the time were going up against Puke together, but it looks like they changed their mind. Shion trying to get the crowd fired up. And meanwhile, a little pistol starter with a nice Northern Light suplex on a puke. He's letting them duke it out on their own. <laughs> puke lifting up little pistol starter. And no luck there. Shion deliberately set himself up for a little pistol starter to hit him. Oh, How is that not, advisable? Not good. Oh, wow. Got a counter in there. A little pistol starter could have taken a chance with a clothesline and might have actually gotten Shion over the top. But he didn't take it. Puke, on the other hand, grabbing a little pistol starter by the face and working his arm down to the canvas. Ow! Another jump over the top. Ooh. Shion again going for a little pistol starter. He's having none of that. Nope. Every time he oh makes an God. attempt, Shion counters. And Shion is getting mad now. Getting sick of this shit. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Joke slam. He ain't getting out of that one. Puke making the mistake of posing in the corner. Then again, he was in there long enough to get out of it. Nice swinging neck breaker. Puke tried again. No luck. Shion getting himself free. And Puke again with a counter. Uh-oh. Is he going for it? No, back body drop. Puke might have been thinking about, or sorry, Shion might have been thinking about going for his finisher. And Puke able to counter. You got Shion leaned against the corner. And again, he's uh -oh. going to try to get him over. Well, look at oh this. God. Oh, my God. You're kidding. No way. If Puke gets him over, no way. No, no, no. Yeah. Shion fighting tooth and nail to get himself off of the corner there. And he manages to get back in. Holy shit. Puke almost had him. That was scary. Yeah. Oh, fisherman's buster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. F5! Down he goes. Puke laying in some groundwork here on Shion, trying to weaken him. Came damn close to eliminating him, and by the looks of it, he wants to go in for the kill. Oh, God, not again. Not again. That time it hit. This time got him right in the eyes, yeah. Little pistol starter trying to lift up Puke in the corner, and he's got him up on the top. Puke might be finding himself in trouble here if he doesn't get something going. 
Oh, boy. Dangerously close here. Nope. Puke able to get himself free. Oh, face buster. And Shion running right into a little pistol starter who uses his horns to get catch him in a neck breaker. I can't believe this match has gone on as long as it has already. I'm kidding. Jeez. This is only a 20 man and it was the opener for God's sake. Oh, Puke's been busted open now. I don't think I like the sound of that. <laughs> you think any of us like the sound of that? Probably not. Puke thinking about trying to use the ropes there, but Sheon being there kind of body blocking it. Whoa. How back and forth is this going to be? The more they keep trying to face each other into the corner, the... Oh, here we go again. A little pistol starter this determined. This time. He, he's determined he's getting that clown out of here, that's for sure. Xion just <laughs> rearing back and letting him try. Nope, still no luck. Oh my Puke God. able to get out of it. And oh, what a spinning kick to the head. Jeez. Puke's definitely seeing stars now. And Xion, oh! Pump handle slam. I thought, it was gonna, I, thought, I thought it was gonna carry little pistol starter over to the ropes and throw him out. Axe handle smash. Puke trying to get around him and takes his, and takes his feet out from under him. Shion didn't like that one bit. Picks him up. Drops him. And Puke is going to try again. Shion hanging on for dear life here. And again, Puke unable to get him over. You would think he'd want to, oh, think about this. Power bomb. And up over his shoulder into the Samoan drop. And Puke caught laughing. Definitely not laughing now, though. Yeah. Hard shot. I can't believe this. We're in the final three. They've been in. I think these three have been in here longer than most of the people in the Battle Royal. No offense to them. Well, Pistol Star's definitely been here the longest. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Oh. How are they still going at it? I have no idea anymore. This is crazy. Little pistol starter takes down Shion, takes his legs out from under him. Someone needs to get knocked out, otherwise we're never going to see an end of this. I'm actually surprised Puke didn't try to go for an elimination right there. Oh, Shion yeah. in the perfect position, oh, and out God. he goes! Oh my God! I was wondering when that was going to happen. I was actually surprised. I thought he'd make it all the way through this thing, Puke. Caught him at a very opportune moment. Well, spinning toe hold ain't gonna do you any. Get cleaned up. Ain't gonna do you any favors, uh, Puke. You can't make him submit, and make it and giving him a hard time to stand up is gonna make it harder to throw him over the top. A little pistol starter, nice. Northern Light suplex. And an Irish whip and puke. Dangerous. Oh, little pistol starter did not capitalize. He should have. That could have been an elimination right there, but he jumped the gun. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Might, might not be a good idea to get too close to puke there, uh, LPS. Especially not. And he's oh not boy. wasting any time trying to get him back up and over the top. And Puke fighting tooth and nail here. He's going to keep himself out of that. Not, not getting much uh, leeway there that time. Nope. 
Are you are you kidding me? He's going for that toe hold again. You can't make him submit. Oh, he's laughing like an idiot. I think he's just doing this to jeer the crowd. Didn't surprise me, obviously. Well, he's definitely not a very pleasant clown. We know that. Yeah. And a little pistol starter tries to get rid of puke this time. And oh, he did it! Yeah! Oh, look at this for a pose! <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, not gonna lie. Little pistol starter earned that taunt at the end there. What a way to freaking win this match. That's a joke. Okay, why am I not surprised all the freaking. Replay shots are from the final three. They were in the ring the longest. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Lil Pistol Starter. Well play to him. What a smirk. New York represent yeah. getting getting a lot of attention so tonight. That's for tonight. sure. Yeah. Man, he earned that one. Oh no, you're doing this to me again, aren't you? Ah, hmm? uh, the thing, the video thing and the uh, controls are delayed. So that means the oh, sound no. is going to be delayed too. It's okay, I'll just have to readjust it before we start the next match. Easy way to do it. Or at least an easy way I found anyway. Okay. <coughs> what oh. is happening? Hmm? What is happening? You'll find out soon enough. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. You're doing this. I guess we are. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go down to ringside for the next match, I want you guys to take in mind, this is probably going to get pretty damn brutal. Oh, my God. Ruby Sunshine versus belligerent with a shooting star title if, unless I'm absolutely mistaken nope title's not on the line on this one. Oh, thank god <laughs> I think it would be pretty much be a squash match unless I'm absolutely mistaken well it could be <laughs> oh my god Belligerent has kind of made it a bit of a habit to come out with this form when she's got that title on her waist. So, you know what? I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna give her shit. She hasn't done anything like you know that would warrant us being concerned. Has she? Oh, here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from the Modiverse, she is the inverted superfan, Ruby Sunshine. She's certainly taking to that uh, blessing of yours pretty well. I'm quite content with that. She also needs to work with it and practice with it to get better, so all the more reason. I'd love to know who thought it was a good idea to settle her up against belligerent for that matter. I don't know. Oh my fire, Shad. You of all people should know this. How do you know Unbreakable didn't do it?
Does he even have that much influence? Well, of course he does. Belligerent's still his acolyte. Point. Although I really think you shouldn't call her that right hand of Shiko nickname you've been giving her because she keeps shooting you a dirty look. What am I supposed to call her then? She's still the Apex's acolyte, isn't she? Oh, sake, people are so picky around here. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. What are you talking about? Ruby's opponent from the realm of shadows. She is your XPWL shooting star champion. This is the right hand of the Apex, belligerent. There you there. go. That works. Well, she didn't get mad at you for that one. Believe me, if you didn't hear a lip about it from us, you would have heard a lip about it from Unbreakable. Guaranteed. So be thankful it's us and not him you're dealing with right now. Oh, boy. Belligerent. Oh, immediately throwing Ruby back into her own corner. And she, <gasps> she's... Difference? I can't... She's, She's going to maul her. Oh, God. Belligerent thinking about going off the top rope here. Ruby getting back to her feet. Is she going to be able to... Oh, axe handle. Ooh. Belligerent not sure what, what she wants to do here. Oh, my God. Oh, I heard that. What the hell is she doing? Oh, what? Was that belligerent stomp? Belligerent borrowing the siren stomp against Ruby, but not to the same effect as Piria's. Oh. Uh, nice. Was that a, was that a DDT or an STO or something? I think it was a DDT. And Ruby, with a chop off the top rope, took belligerent down. Yeah, I'm not familiar with all these wrestling move names. Bonsai drop. Oh. I don't think Belligerent was too happy about that. Oh! I don't think anyone would be. Wild oh. swing. And Belligerent hang... And what the hell is she doing? Oh! Stun oh. gun! Off the middle road. Lord. Crowd's going wild here. Surfboard, surfboard stretch. And Ruby able to get out of it and roll through. And Belligerent almost into the steps. Ruby playing it smart, trying to get back in the ring. And oh no! No! Oh. I don't know what she was thinking there. Took a Nobody wild ch took a wild chance. Wasn't expecting Belligerent to climb back in when she did. At least she's right back up though, right? That's true. It was a pretty, it was a pretty light landing, despite what she did. And Belligerent just bit her forehead. Jeez. Irish whip oh, off dear. the ropes. Oh, clothesline did not can. Oh my God. Oh, that freaking airtime. Missed the springboard leg drop. Ruby. Ooh. Hard chop. Oh, look at this! Hurricane Rana! Round the world! Hooking her up under the shoulders here. And Ruby with a nice moonsault. I heard that too! One! Only one. To be fair, Belligerent hasn't attempted a single pinfall yet. Yet. She's biding her time. Oh! Ruby! Trying to egg her on, got her to come down and caught her in the stomach. I just realized Belligerent's wearing heels. I didn't notice that either at first. That's yeah. gonna... Oh my god, if she goes for like another siren stomp, that's gonna hurt even more than it should. Right now, Belligerent more focused on just causing pain here. Ruby has been getting slammed around from pillar to post here. Oh no! Biting the fingers! Ah, yeah. ah no, jeez! Usually like that silly looking crazy smile of hers, but 
Not when, and not when she looks intimidating like that. And what the hell is Ruby doing? Oh, oh inverted god, figure four. four. Oh my god. And she's got belligerent right in the center of the ring here. Belligerent. belligerent muscling out of it immediately. She had no choice on that one. Ruby caught her by surprise. Uh oh. Oh, Going boy. up. Oh, ooh, nice DDT. I thought, jeez, I, I thought Belligerent had countered that for a second. And Ruby getting brave here. Oh, Top boy, rope move incoming. Chop in. Belligerent caught her in the head. Ooh. Oh, God. Choke slam. Sit out, choke slam. One, one two, two, no. <laughs> that was a hell of a choke slam. I've never seen Ruby friggin' bounce off the mat like that. Oh! Springboard leg drop. And Belligerent try to rake the eyes. Ruby not taking kindly to that. Grabbing. Oh, and into the corner. And Belligerent able to get herself out of it before anything could be done. Jawbreaker. Well, here we go again. Round the world. Whoops, it is ease. Ruby's going to take a chance here. Oh, Is boy. On the literate? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's actually trying to do it. Oh! oh. Modified power bomb. One, two, and belligerent barely made it out of that one. Yeah, I can say for a damn fact, if she didn't have that blessing of yours, Chad, she wouldn't have been able to live Belligerent off the freaking canvas. Not like uh, that, uh, no. Yeah. She manhandled Belligerent off the mat. Oh. Another standing moonsault. One, two, three! Holy damn. shit! I don't think Ruby was I pleased... Gonna admit it, and gonna admit this, Chad. I don't think Ruby was too happy with how her match last night went, and she wanted to rectify it by any means necessary. And she what let, well, she let Belligerent basically tear her apart, but she did make a hell of a comeback. Like I said, her it, her match didn't exactly go as she wanted it last night. Uh, you're thinking of somebody else. Or wait, no, sorry. I'm pretty. Week. The last time that we saw her in this particular attire, she didn't actually. Uh, well, she didn't come up with a win. It so was I last think, week, I think she was going. It was last trip. week. You're right. You're right. You're right. Here is your winner, Ruby Sunshine. Like I said, didn't necessarily go as planned the last time, but to be honest with you, she did rather well for herself on this one. Do not know how to feel about the hat, especially since she calls it Mr. Hat. <laughs> well, it hey, is. Well, it is hers. Her the blessing is doing her well, so I have no reason to complain at all. Let's see. What can we put up next? You know what the hell with it? What do we got next, then? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, boy. We're doing this again? Possibly. Oh dear God, what have you done? Oh my. <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. Oh my God. This. Wait. Uh. Hmm. What's that no, mean? no, no, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. He is. He would. No, I'm not that brave. 
Not yet, ah. anyway. Because I already have plans for those particular things. Eh. Either way, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, as we move on to the next match, a little interesting take here as Electra and Papercut seem to be working really well as a team. And wouldn't you know it, a couple of challengers decided to bang down their door. It's Kai and Seiya of the One. So are we officially... Are we, are we pretty much just confirming that Seiya is a member of the One now, then? She's been the advocate for the One for almost a year and a half now. It wouldn't surprise me if they made her an actual member. But I suppose well, again, that's Trish... We, we more no. power to her if that's the case. It's already public knowledge that Sia is, like, Kai's number one fan, so... Several things on that one, yeah. And considering she, ever since coming to XPWL, she's kind of been a really good advisor to the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do seem to recall Sia was pretty busy with Trish last night, though. Yeah, from what I was told, she had to talk Trish down quite a bit. Not like it. Oh yeah, not I was like, there for that. <laughs> not like it. Not like it. Not like in an insulting fashion either. I mean, just literally trying to get her to calm down. Oh, here we go. I was, I was there when Trish had her little outburst. following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one. First, from the Realm of Shadows and representing the Academic Mayhem, this is the Inverted Paper Cut. Jeez, whenever she looks at the camera like that, I feel like she's just staring right at us. Paper knows how to bring attention into the room when she's out here. Yeah. You also need to realize that this girl's taken down some pretty big resident baddies, so, you know, she kind of has a pretty good reputation here. I mean, we, we, don't, we, we don't have to talk about, we don't have to bring up when uh, she and Sheon duped it out. I don't think you need to. It's on YouTube. You guys can go watch it any time. That I was... still can't believe these two are working together, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't either, believe me. Ladies and gentlemen, and her tag team partner, formerly from the Golden City, she now makes her homes in the depths of chaos. This is the Electric Lunatic. Electra! Literally a story I can't believe. It just how did she go from the syndicate to the maidens to this? To be I, I don't and, know. To be fair, I'm starting to wonder. I know this line has been said by somebody else lately, but I'm gonna say it again just because of the fact that it applies to this woman. I honestly am starting to believe that this is the real Electra, and everything we saw up to that point was the illusion. <laughs> Why does that sound familiar? Well, they're ready for these two, though. Ask your buddy with the rat. You... Oh, no. Has he been seen in the building? I don't think so. Oh, boy, That's here we go. You have to be kidding me. Wait, which one? Mark, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the rat, or are you talking about Star? We got Both. a match to call here, boys. Their opponents, from the Realm of Shadows and Union City, respectively, they are two representatives of the one and your XPWL, yeah, excuse me, internet tag team champions. They are the team of Kai and Seiya Sashimi. I, uh, thank you. The Fallen Angels! I was waiting for that damn teleprompter to do its job. <laughs> to be fair, their entrance features slow motion, so it doesn't surprise me. Hey, Se just like yours. Seiya seems to be pretty aloof tonight, I gotta admit. That, yep. that and that smile on her face. It, obviously, something must... Uh, something had to have been... Like, something had to have been done last night. I 
Well, yeah, man, what? Going, what with the one. Think about it. Trish, and say it would have been concerned about how Trish was feeling last night. The factor that she's smiling out here means that there's got to be something. Something had to have been come to an agreement or something. And we're starting with paper and Ka Ooh, this should be a classic. Oh, boy. These two feuded over the women's title before. This should be good. Yeah, you, you had to bring me back to when... You know, Whoa! I do know what you're talking about, but the fact that Scalon was in the ring at the time as well... Good point. I mean, you ought to know, too, since Midnight was the title holder at the time. Yep. Uh, nobody home from that strike on uh, from Kai. And Paper grabbing her by the hair and drilling her into the canvas and tags in Electra. Oh, boy. And the Lunatic getting some quick strikes in on Kai right off the bat here. Some wild moves here. German suplex. Ouch. Jeez. Shots to the back here. And into the corner. And again into the corner. And Kai working over Electra's back. Oh, tried a wild kick. That didn't work. And Kai uppercut to the back of Electra's head. You only missed a couple of matches, Hector. Again, if you miss any of the action, I always re-upload the streams to YouTube so that we have them for archival purposes. Electra going up to the top rope and trying to get Kai back to her feet. Wild jump here with an axe handle and hits it. That's disrespectful. Tags out and Tags here comes and paper, paper cut, cut again. again. Kai is in real trouble here. Yeah. Trying to get some distance Mine's here. Need to go for a tag to get Saya in, otherwise she's gonna get mauled. Oh, white noise after a swing. And yeah, she's doing just that. Gets to Saya and makes the tag. And I believe this is the first time Saya and Paper have ever actually locked up before. And it's Paper, oh, flapjack. Trying to drag Saya to the corner and does so, but not able to capitalize. Whoa, look at this. Oh, choking STO. Jeez. Saya trying to think about what she wants here. Electra and Kai get the tag. At the same time. And Electra back to s squaring up with Kai here. I got to admit, she's getting some pretty solid shots in here. Kai's usually the usually the strike expert, but Electra's kind of beating her to the punch in this round. Yeah. Indeed. And uh-oh. Tried to strangle her for too long. And Kai. Oh, stomach. Oh, quick stomp there. And now going after her knee and her hamstring. Kai now grabbing Electra by the hair. And Paper should be back out on the apron, but she chose to get back in instead. There we go. Now she's on the apron. Didn't take the ref long Whoa. to notice either. And oh, hung out to dry. Good counter from Kai there. And oh, up and over. And Electra, oh, running into some problems here. Kai's starting to get her groove back. Hard clothesline. And into a cover. One. And Electra grabs the ropes. Huh. Say, say I got into the ring expecting paper to come out. And oh, Electra with some kind of a takedown. And tag immediately goes to the in. Yep, immediately goes to tag out. Paper waiting okay. for a moment here. Uh oh, white noise again. Jeez. Neck breaker. Yep, Kai definitely is getting some of her groove back. Tags out to Saya. And back to pay and back to paper and Saya going at it. 
Saya thrown into the corner. And, oh, Paper couldn't capitalize. Saya actually got out of it. Saya stomping the hell out of her. Thinking about what she wants here. Going up to the top. Waiting for Paper to get back up. Off the top rope with a crossbody. And Paper caught her in midair. Whoa! And, oh, swinging face buster. God damn. Saya made a big mistake trying to go to the top rope there. Oh, knee lifts. And Saya isolated in Electra and Paper Cut's corner here. That's not good. Not real, they know. Oh, down on the arm. No bones, but definitely enough nerves to do damage. Oh, missed a fist drop, though. Saya with a running drop kick. <laughs> Tried to go for a kick. No luck there. Paper counters into a leg whip. Leg drop. And again, this time the fist drop connects. Tagging Electra back in. And Saya up and over the top, and she's in a really bad spot. She's caught on the floor, and she's caught in the wrong corner. You know, I'm mainly just glad none of oh! these girls are wearing heels. Otherwise, someone's freaking stomach would probably be broken. Paper telling Electra to get Saya back in the ring, and Saya and her are not, not unwilling to decide to take each other into a brawl here. Yeah, Saya's not having any problem brawling with Electra here. That's different. Saya's usually the passive one. Tried to go for a wild slap. That didn't work. We're up to seven, eight. Someone's got to get back in the ring. Electra is already back in at nine. Say, uh, oh, Electra broke the count. What? Oh, and she paid for it. She broke the count to give Saya the chance to get back in, and Saya threw her right into the steps. That was not a good idea. Three. Electra looking livid and charges into Kai full speed. Kai's telling, whoa, Kai's trying to tell, keep her in the ring. Electra tried to tag out. Kai's <laughs> trying to keep it from happening. Gets on top of her. Open palm strikes. Going for the pin. One, two. Electra kicks out. Paper didn't even make an attempt to try to stop it. Saya gets tagged in again. Electra probably should do the same. But she oh, noticed that Saya. Oh my god, she's going right back in. Uh -oh. Choke bomb. And Saya with a counter. Nice. And going right up top. Saya egging her on, trying to get her back up. Missile drop kick. Didn't get all of it though. It was enough to knock Electra back down onto the ground. Into the corner here. And Saya choking Electra. Look at the eyes on her. Oh my god. Of course, we also got to remember that Saya is, uh, Saya is a shadow walker herself. Those eyes are pretty damn creepy when she gets mad. Oh yeah. And Electra takes her legs out from under her. Hello, Nook Nook. Trying to wild swing, and again, ooh, Saya able to get out of it, and oh god, right into Electra's eyes with oh. the ink spit. Going for a pin, Paper's right there, one, two, didn't stop her. They kept the match honorable. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. Then again, they did a lot of brawling on the floor. 
to be fair, I think Electra kind of took matters into her own hands at th their own team's expense. There were a few times where, yeah, she had the perfect opportunity to tag Paper and she didn't take it. So, I think Paper might have refused to stop the count because Electra kind of screwed them over in the end. Well, maybe. Here are your winners, Seiya Sashimi and Kai, the Fallen Angels! Wow. That was damn good for the, uh, for a yeah. match, I, I will admit. But yeah, by the looks of it, paper cut after the, the first few times, she was yelling out for Electra to tag, and she refused. You could see it during the count. You just see friggin' during the two count. Um, as you're looking at the footage here, guys, like I'm showing it to you right here. You see paper cut putting her hands up. It's just like, nope, I'm not getting in there. <laughs> I think she might have been, like I said, I think she might have gotten a little ticked off that uh, that Elektra might have been trying to take matters into her own hands, like JC said. So much for them working well as a team. Well, they were working well as a team before. They did against the Golden Maidens, but maybe they tried it as a secondary thing, like, hey, maybe we got something with this, and maybe that didn't work. Yeah. All right, what's next on the card? Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, my. Why not? Oh, boy. Special stakes on uh, on this match. And gentlemen, whoever wins this one is going to get a shot at the Shooting Star title. Oh. Interesting little combination here as we have Glow of the Three Golden Maidens, Rodaggio, Dasim of the Bloody Symphony, and Invigorated. Again, I'm gonna be stakes. honest. I'm gonna be honest. I pity whoever's gonna who, whoever's gonna win this. <laughs> to be fair, Glow might be able to match up size with the current belligerent. go here we go still trying to figure out where the hell she got that thing what the seriously what the hell is that toy ladies and ladies and gentlemen the following contest is scheduled for one fall and it is a triple threat an extreme rules match Introducing the participants first from the Golden City. She is one third of the three Golden Maidens. This is Glow. Again, what's the point of having that stupid toy sword when she's got two swords on her back? Aesthetics, maybe? I... And... For that matter, again, how does that thing stand up perfectly when she when she leaves it on the ring? That's a damn good question. Oh. 
<clears throat> Professionalism, uh... <clears throat> yes. The next participant in this match, from Equestria and representing the Bloody Symphony, this is the Siren Queen, Rodalgio Tessum! I hope she appreciates I was able to roll the R's for once. <laughs> I'm sure she did. <clears throat> Here, Chad, have some water. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Hey, it's not my fault you're thirsty. <laughs> oh, boy. The final participant in this match from the inhabited domain, this is Invigorated. <laughs> oh god damn it <laughs> Vig is ready to go here let's see glow death stare <laughs> by the looks of it she's death staring Ooh, death staring Vig and immediately makes a beeline for Radaggio first and I think invigorated and Radaggio were considering working as a team for this Oh, maybe not. Front suplex slam. Radaggio dodged for a second and snap suplex of her own and holding on to it. Two. Oh, my God. Radaggio really laying it in thick. Three amigo suplexes. Vig trying to get in a word edgewise here. No luck on that one. Daji watching... Glow tries to attack her from behind. Nice dodge there by Radaggio, able to avoid that suplex and a face plant onto Vig. Oh, Glow over the top rope. Vig Ooh. taking her eyes off Radaggio. Bad idea. Nice reverse DDT. And in the corner. And what is she thinking here? Oh, Poison Rana. And Glow going right after Radaggio. Vig going after... Oh, Glow. Nice headlock. Holding on for dear life there. Into the corner. Vig with a kick and a couple more strikes to Radaggio, trying to get her off her feet. Well, and, out of the corner now, uh, recovered. Ooh, package driver. And, oh, Glow with a back suplex onto Vig. Ooh. Oh dear. Vig dumped out in front of Radaggio here. And Daji's looking for toys. And has one and clocks Vig with a bat. Oh my god. Caught Vig again right in the head. And oh, Glow tried to go for something. That didn't work. Now Vig's looking for toys. And Vig's got a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer. And oh, caught Glow right in the stomach. The girls are getting violent. Uh oh, Alabama slam on the apron. Oh. Ooh. 
Vig's head. There's a hair's length from hitting her head on the apron. Very, very close. She almost banged her head right off of it. And Vig coming into the ring with a sledgehammer and catching Daji from behind. And Rodaggio, Bulldog. Nice little payback move there and trying to go for a sunset flip powerbomb. Manages to do it. One. Only one. Whoa. Again, shooting star championship opportunity at stake in this match. And all three of these ladies pulling out all the stops here. Oh, God, Dodgy's got That's a table. table. That's a table. Oh, jeez. Using it as a weapon but not setting it up. And, oh, my God, Ooh, glow. Right the post. Ow. Oh, and Vig with a sledgehammer shot right to the Rodaggio's thigh. Picks her up. And Daji hangs up Vig to dry. I thought she was going to chuck Vig over the ropes again. I was honestly thinking the same thing. And Glow's got the table. Got the and table. she's bringing it in. Oh, God. And Daji flying leg drop. One. Over cover. And Glow stops it. Not able to capitalize. Glow, couple shots to the head here. Got Daji in the stomach, picks her up. Daji with a counter and a chop block. Nice bulldog attempt, Vig countered. Daji with the table in hand and not able to do anything with it. Oh, I, thought she, I thought she was going to smack the referee with it. Would have been funny to see. Uh-oh! Reverse power slam! Oh my god! Glow face first into the hammerhead! Oh! She might be out cold. She's wearing that mask, otherwise... One, two... Glow landing face first on that sledgehammer. Again, it's probably a good thing she's wearing that mask of hers. Rodaggio kicked to the head. Serious damage. What in the hell oh, is boy. she doing? Oh, corkscrew moonsault! One, and Vig interrupts the count. Daji clearly not happy with that. Oh, boy. Oh! DDT. Surprise Glow. Through. Surprise Glow's even standing up after landing like that. Yeah. And now Vig trying her luck with her. Grabs her, snap suplex onto the handle. And again onto the handle. Vig oh, now on the other hand. Break. Trying to pull Rodaggio's shoulder out of the socket. <laughs> oh, Fisherman suplex. And Daji banged her head off the table. Oh, snake eyes. Daji trying to work something in here. Nice Russian leg sweep. Right back to glow. Ducks in round the world. Hurricane Rana. And Daji. Oh! Dangerously close to coming down knees first on that sledgehammer. And oh! Dumped onto her head with that suplex. One. Two. No. Rodaggio kicks out. Oh boy. Uh oh. Straight jacket neck breaker, and that might have just done it. One, two. No, Rodaggio still managed to kick out. But she's Woo. in she's in agony though. Yeah. And Vig backing herself into the corner. Doing something. I have no idea what though. Uh Glow's oh. got the table and Vig just ate it. Uh-oh! 
Stalker right in the fit. Oh, Glow actually tried to set it up. Daji not allowing her to do it. Daji trying to get the crowd on her side here. Well, look at this. Oh! Nice double team by Rodaggio and Vig. Jeez. Now they're going at it. Vig got her breather for a few seconds, and now the two of them are locking up while Glow's distracted. And oh, God! Vig hung out to dry on the ropes there for a second. Uh-oh! Vig! Oh, follow a slam into that pile. Vig now standing alone in the ring. Daji going under the ring for weapons here, and Vig distracting her. Rodaggio tried some wild swings, and it didn't work. Daji, oh, reverse DDT. And now Glow has the kendo stick and broke it over Vig's head with one, one hit. Jeez. Vig and Rodaggio going back into the ring and leaving Glow behind. And Rodaggio, oh, reverse power slam and Vig landing right on top of the table. And that might be it. Over a cover, but Glow's Glow, right there. Yep, Glow's right there. Excuse me. Rodaggio tried again, and this time Glow ain't ready for her. Whoa! Flying neck breaker! Vig tried a super kick. It didn't work. And oh! Rodaggio tried to roll through. That didn't work either. Nice standing shooting star by Vig. Tried again and it didn't work the second time around. Daji trying to think about what she wants to do here. Off the ropes. Spinning neck breaker again. And an elbow, or sorry, drop kick to the back of the neck for good measure. Rodaggio going up top. And falling leg drop. Trying their chance here. One, two, and Vig kicks out. Holy shit. Springboard moonsault and Vig caught again. And Glow daring her to try something, and Rodaggio hits her with a face plant. Right on the table, I think. Definitely. Speaking of the table, uh, nope. Oh, Daji almost chucked over the top rope there. And Glow picking her up. Oh, power slam. Body slam. And a kick to the head from Rodaggio for good measure. Trying to take her to the corner. And Daji... What is she thinking here? And Daji taking a chance here. Guillotine leg drop. And Vig has got the bat. And Daji makes sure she drops it. DDT. And I think Vig barely missed it. Jeez. Glow setting her up in the setting Rodaggio up in the ropes and then trying to go after Vig. She should have stayed on Rodaggio if I were to be completely honest here. Yeah. Uh oh, German suplex. And oh, face plant by Rodaggio. Using. I think Glow's head might Using have hit the hand belly hand dancer hand. suplex. That might be it. One, two, three. Oh, Belligerent has a date with the Siren Queen. Wouldn't see it any other way. I mean, congratulations, Rodaggio. Professionalism. Do I need to pour that water over your head? 
Shut up. There's man. that shot right there, that Third sledgehammer. D. Daji, I'm actually kind of surprised when she landed from that suplex. I thought she was out cold. Yeah. Here is your winner. Your winner. Yeah. Sorry, I fell Go for it. it. Here is your winner and new number one contender to the shooting star title, Rodaggio Dazzum. Daji oh, clearly great. brimming with confidence now. All right, what's next? You think you Good question. Yes. Do Ooh. No, we're not putting him in. <laughs> huh? Tried to put a bomb on at the top of the list. The answer is no. No. None of that. Oh my god, are you serious? Rice. What? What's the problem? Equal <laughs> management have a death wish. What do you mean a manage what? Uh, oh come on, man! You know what? I'm going to the concession stand, I'll be right back. D d d Mark, <laughs> for fuck's sake. If everybody else gets to run off and get something, why can't I? All right, fine. Just make it back here quick. I don't ever put up with that guy. Oh, shit. Sure. Hey, at least we're not putting up with Charlie. Here we go. I think I'll take uh, Texans intro this time. There's yours. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. If you don't know where he's from, I suggest you buy yourself a globe, you unintelligent piece of shit. He is the certified scout main, Texan! Best of luck to him on this one, given who his opponent is. Yeah. I am sincerely hoping he avoids any nut shots. Now that you've said it. Actually, that reminds me. Have we gotten any word about why the hell Charlie attacked Mark uh, the other day? Something about an apple or whatever. I, I don't get it. Maybe it has something to do with why he's like this, possibly. I remember him saying it was like a yellow apple with green speckles on it or something. Exactly what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I got myself a thing of popcorn and a little soda. Also, funny story, you guys are mentioning that. Look what I found. Uh, what? Look at this thing. I wasn't lying. Yep. Yeah. What the fuck yeah. Is that? yeah. I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let Charlie know I have it, but yeah, isn't it the, odd, it's the oddest looking fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you aren't wrong. Let me see that thing. 
What the fuck? It's it's ripe too. There's nothing wrong with it. No bumps, no bruises. Looks like it's supposed to look like ah, uh, hide it. Last thing we need is Charlie going into a rage because we have one. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it. I, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh hide it under my hood. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure we do know where it came from, but I don't want to risk knowing what the hell it is or what the hell, what the hell he needs it so much for that he's gone that he's gone absolutely nuts. Like again, oh, he it, he attacked me back. He, he, he attacked me backstage because I kicked it down the hallway. Oh, geez, he's looking right at us. Uh, play cool. I don't have it, you jerk off. You say oh, was like he yelling that. at you, asking where it was? That's what he was trying to do when he was beating the hell out of me last uh, last time you saw him. Kick his Everybody's ass, te- kick his ass, Texan. I remember the last time I had to deal with him. Yeah, there we go, rainbind cutter. Can you tell me I need to remain impartial. Don't you tell me to remain impartial. He attacked me the last time I saw him. I have every right to be pissed off about that. One, Fair two. Enough. Oh my God, oh, that was almost out? that was almost it. The hell happened there? Charlie didn't even make an attempt to kick out until the very last second. I don't know. Is it just me or is he looking a little sickly too? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, but you know what? He looks, like I said, he's looking kind of sickly. Like, I don't know. Texans mauling him. I know he had, I know he had some of these, uh, some of those other Apple things backstage, but I don't know. He seemed to freak out just because of losing one of them. Like, Jesus. Yes, Blood Diane Pie, Rainbind Cutter. Texan is using something that Rainbine used as her finisher when she was here. Right now, she's out on uh, she's out in the YWL circuit. Why is the elements haven't sadly haven't been seen around here in a while? Well, Shouty was here for a while, but she decided to take a little bit of a break herself. Oh! Knee lift and a roundhouse kick, and Charlie's starting to get aggressive. Couple stomps, kick to the head. And yeah, you can see that look on Charlie's face is starting to come back. That psychotic look I was seeing last week. What the hell is up with that? I don't know, but he's getting more and more aggressive the more the match goes on. That's a bit worrisome. I just hope Texan doesn't get kicked or punched where the sun don't shine. Nobody wants to deal with that. Exploder! And yeah, Charlie got turned inside out right there. Lion Salt incoming! There and he got right back up and it, oh my god what a boot to the face Ooh. trying to go for something there Texan got out of it I think he might have been trying to go for, for a camel clutch might have been oh wild swing there with that punch one two Texan kicks out. This match getting strangely intense now. Yeah, no kidding. And Charlie right out in front of us now. Texan thinking about what he wants to do here. Taunting Charlie, trying to get him back in the ring. Ooh. Caught him good, too. Knocked him right on his ass. That might be a little too far. Yeah. Oh, wait. 
Jackson, missile drop kick, got all of it. Oh my God. And missed the super kick. Not the second time though. Ooh. Charlie might be out here, one. And the ref saw the nope. ropes. Oh shit. He's gonna need to try something else, otherwise. He's gonna have oh, to dear. do better than what he was doing. Charlie managing to dodge. Ooh. Getting some body blows in. And throwing te oh, no. oh no. Throwing Texan in the corner. No, 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 no. Oh no. no. Oh God. You had to say it. Oh. Oh God. This is why we don't jinx things. Don't recover. One, One, two, two. Oh, so close, though. Oh, my God. And you can see Texans cross-eyed as hell. Missed the, oh, missed the springboard. Texan rushes him into the corner. Hard shot. Another one. And Texan tossing him out to the apron. And drop kick, sending Charlie to the floor. Oh my God. What a move. Texan practically daring Charlie to get back in. And went oh, out man, after him. Oh, geez. Oh, neck breaker. I don't think the kick is bothering him that much. No, oh! No, it's not. I think one of Charlie's teeth just went flying out of his mouth. <laughs> that knee lift was brutal. Yeah. And Texan again forcing Charlie back into the ring. Springboard moonsault, and this time he connects. Aye. Texan tried to dodge, but was unable to get free, and a forearm shot to the side of the head. And back to working over the face and the hands. Again! Oh Christ! Texan, for God's sake, get out of there! No! I... You've got to be joking. Well, if the first one. Why am I hearing the crowd one, chanting one more time? Let's just get it over with. One, one two, two, three. three. Why are they playing my intro song? Again, I really don't think that's management. Somebody's fucking with you, dude. I should probably go out to the production truck. Oh, God. I think we need to might... I think so, one of us might need to go out there and help Texan back up. I'll help him. Here is your winner, Charles Wondersham. Prick. What possibilities, Cole? What are we thinking here? Yeah, what possibilities? Okay, hold on. I gotta fix this again because it seems to be lagging a bit again.
just censor that. Okay. Yeah, Bloth, I did that on purpose because I was trying to fix the video card. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to make this our main event after that. After what happened to Charlie, I think we're or what happened with Charlie, I think we're going to try to cut things down a little bit. But I've got a special special attraction. We are having a, a major title match tonight. I hope people major are. What you say? Yes, and I hope people are paying attention. Wait, what's going on? You're about to find out. Oh. No. We're doing this. We're doing this now? You make it sound like it's a bad thing. Technically? How is it how is it a bad thing technically? Given the combatants, boyo. Well, as much as, as much as I got to admit, we're doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, main event of the night. Hope you guys are strapped in because this is going to be a hell of a match. World Championship up for grabs tonight. Unbreakable taking on the champion, Violance. Reinforce the ring is right, Hector. Yes, Ronick, this will be the very first time on Slaughterhouse that the World Championship has been defended. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the main event of the evening, and it is for the XPWL World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know how comfortable I'd be with the Apex walking out with this title. Why not? He earned the right to challenge for it. I'm aware of that. Looks like Breaky might have taken, decided to take his opportunity now. We've got a long while to... We've had a long... We have a long while to wait until the next pay-per-view. I think Unbreakable is willing to wave that so he could get his shot. Unbreakable has a hell of a task ahead of him, though. It's one thing to fight Violance, but this one's for the not just any title. This is for the big one. Something that Unbreakable has been striving for since he got here. Violance better be ready. Unbreakable might be short, but he is strong. Okay, I'm back. What are we doing? What's going on here? World Championship match, JC. What? We're getting a World Championship match here on Sunday in the Slaughterhouse. I thought we were saving that for the next pay-per-view. That's it's, not for another month and a it's half. Not another month. It's Violence has got an apex to deal with. Oh my lord. Okay. I had to give Texan some ice. He's sitting backstage right now. Remember, this is something that Unbreakable has been tr trying to get close to for the longest time. And he's finally got his shot. It's just unfortunate who happens to be holding it. Oh, boy. This is going to be quite fitting I've for what today is. It's going to be a slaughter. I talked to Unbreakable earlier today. He says he doesn't fear a beast of violence's size or stature. 
this is something that and this is something that he knows for a factor that should be rightfully his and he will go through anything to get it and the fact that it's violence you know what it's kind of a testament to how much guts unbreakable actually has yeah nobody would nobody and i mean nobody has willingly signed up for a match with him not like this And the ones that have, they've all come back injured. <laughs> so we've got the collision against Shiko's Requiem. This is going to get intense. Yeah, no kidding, it is. Someone's going to get broken tonight. Physically or mentally, we have yet to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put my money on both. And well, to be, broken, to be fair, I don't know, if it, I don't know about that. Like I, when I was referencing physically versus mentally, I know Breaky can freaking break anybody mentally, but again, he's facing somebody who has a very good reputation. For utterly destroying opponents. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. World Championship on the line. Never thought I'd see this, but here we go. Oh lord. This is happening. Here we go. Introducing the challenger from the Realm of Shadows, he is the self-proclaimed apex of the realm, this is UNBREAKABLE! Certainly pumped up. His opponent from Chroma City! He is Walking Hardcore Ultim Ult bleh. Ultimate Hardcore Walking Armageddon! <laughs> And he is your XPWL World Champion. This is Violence. And he is going to kill me later because I flubbed his entrance. I was <laughs> about to say he was going to kill me for that one, dude. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'm just going to go head out to my car and I'll wish you guys a good night. Dude, call the match, you pussy. Well, I can't go anywhere anyway because he'd smash my table if I did. That's my point. Here we go. We won't let anything happen to your precious table, Mark. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the rest of the arena with these two out here. Oh, God. Oh. Alabama slam immediately. Right off the bat. Not wasting any time with this. The Apex really trying to lay it in thick. And getting some really good shots in on Violence. I'm impressed. Violance trying to overpower him. It's not working. Uh-oh. That might do oh, it, though. Choke slam incoming. Choke slam. Oh. And getting on top of Unbreakable to pound on him. This is his usual forte. Overpower his opponents and not give them any opening for a counterattack. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what an enziguri. Giant sized enziguri. And a nice stunner from Unbreakable taking uh, Violance off his feet. It's going to take a lot more than their usual repertoire to put each other down, that's for sure. Collision possibly was coming, and nice job with Unbreakable. Flapjack. Nice oh, counter. In the ropes too. Very nice counter. Unbreakable with an Irish whip, and over the top rope he goes. Unbreakable refusing to go out of the ring and break the referee's count. He does realize if it goes to a count out, he will not get a title, right? I'm sure he's been told that. Nice reverse DDT from Unbreakable. Mm hmm. <laughs> and, oh, returns the favor with one of his own. 
and STO. Again down to the canvas. Violence is having some trouble here. Unbreakable using his momentum and just slamming Violence's head into the mat as much as he can. And oh, going for the lower back here. Couple hard shots and slamming his head into the canvas and trying to roll the big guy over and trying a cover. One, two. First pin. First pinfall of the match, and he got a pretty solid two. Violence better be careful here. Unbreakable's out for blood. Off the ropes, and no. Neither one budge. And another STO. Violence over the top rope, and Unbreakable right out after him. Oh, double leg drop. The referee starting his count again. Vertical suplex on the floor. Hey, hey, whoa, watch it. Whoa. Very close there. Easy off the table, guys. They're up to four and still haven't gone back in. Holy shit! That was close. Jeez. Will you two please get back in the ring? This is going to go to a count out. If it does, I swear to God. I'm pretty sure management... Well Pretty sure management won't let and won't let this title match get spoiled, and they'd probably reschedule it. Guys, we're up to eight. Violence, get in the ring, damn it! We do not want our main event match to be ending by countout. And Unbreakable, oh, thank you. you. Yeah, breaking the count. Jesus. I think Unbreakable just realized the ramifications if he'd have let the countout happen. Yeah. And Violence. Waiting for him to come out so he can drop him with a spine buster. Please, gods, both of you get back in the ring. Unbreakable's Eight getting back in. And violence coming too. Thank okay, God. Thank good. Thinking about what they're going to do to each other. Into the corner goes violence and Breaky winding up his arm here. Heavy clothesline. Ooh. And into a cover. One, One. two. No. no luck. Again, no way that was going to be three. Running next snap. And Unbreakable thinking about what he wants here. Spine buster. Spine buster. And there it is. And he's thinking, oh, what the hell? Oh, he's going to try to end high impact here. Spear. No. Spear. No! Violence got the knee up. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, dear. That's not good. Unbreakable is yet to I feel this. this oh god! Now if Unbreakable is awake at any point in this match, we'll know it because I don't think he's there anymore. Or maybe not. Maybe he is oh still god. there. He kind of shook the pile driver off. Oh there. my god! Did you see that? Unbreakable just smashed it. Just smacked his own head. Freaking crossed his arms. Like, let's see you do that again. Make it count. Oh, oh my god! Oh, collision! Oh, collision! That's it. That's I, GG. He had that one coming. I think. One, one two, two, no, no. Unbreakable. I, what? Unbreakable I, survived the collision. I can't believe a snow globe kicked out of that one. No. Violence a little pissed off about it by the looks of it. No breaker counter from the apex. Trying to go for something here. Locks him in place. DDT. I'm starting to think he's not just a snow globe anymore. He's upgraded to a full-on snowstorm. 
Possibly. He is really laying into violence here, too. He's letting them have it, yeah. Oh, my God. Lifts up the arm and pulls back. We don't know anybody named Brandon Jeter. Damn fans. Wait, what? No, they were they were chanting break his finger. I kind of heard something different. Oh, Tiger Suplex. I think you need your ears checked, Mark. I know what I heard. <laughs> Clearly not. Anyway, back to the match. Oh, geez. What's unbreakable thinking here? A couple hard body blows and a heavy what clothesline. What a shot. Oh, my God. Solid impact. Oh. Violance catching that one. Violance giving an unbreakable a taste of his own medicine here. And smaller fingers means he can bend them back a lot further. No bones either. <laughs> that actually kind of looked horrifying. Yeah. And Violance, you made a big mistake. Never mind. Somehow <laughs> managed to counter. Made it unbreakable into that one. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, nice. <laughs> one, two, two. so close. Oh my god. Unbreakable almost had the win there. Yeah. Oh, kick to the gut. Another one. And a short arm clothesline for good measure. Laying into a violent face here. Oh god, what's he thinking? What's unbreakable thinking? Oh my god. Why Bullfrog the splash off the top. That's an amazement he hit that. Considering his track record with that move is kind of 50-50, I don't blame you for feeling that way. Hangs him up in the corner. Free him well. Oh, God, roughing him up there in the corner. If Violance isn't careful, he could be kissing his title goodbye here. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. She goes oh, Requiem. She goes Requiem. Violance's hand was under That's the rope. Break. He did it oh. too close to the rope. Oh, God. Did you guys see that? Huh? How fast Violance got back up? Yeah, I believe I did. Rope breaks come in handy. That was terrifying. Usually with Violance, anything's terrifying, JC. I'm aware, but jeez. Oh, unbreakable back on the offensive. Locks him again. Oh, and the champion is busted open. Oh my God. That could be a bad Oh, spine buster. Spine buster. Pin him, you oh idiot. Pin him. Go for it. One, One. Two. two. Oh, oh my God. How close was that? Jeez. He's got a very angry tiger now. I mean, even Unbreakable, uh -oh. even Unbreakable's clapping at the ref like that was three. It had to have been. Uh oh. Oh no. Unbreakable has been put into probably the worst place he could be, and never mind. Violence didn't capitalize on it. I thought he was gonna try to pile drive him off the apron again. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't. No, but now he's really laying it in uh, thick on Unbreakable here. I think Unbreakable's gonna die. Yeah. Oh no, oh, here it comes. Uh oh. Speaking of which. Yeah. Oh, power bomb! Oh my god. That's and it. Unbreakable's oh, in the ropes. And Violence just as much as Unbreakable. Look at this, the rage taking over. These two both battle hardened warriors from two different places. And both of them not reacting very well to these two having rope breaks. Oh! Oh my God! That airtime. I think Unbreakable's tapping into some more of his uh, to, some more of his strength. Yeah. 
Like I said, I think the and the anger induced from both of them being in the ropes, I think is just making them stronger. Oh. I still don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't this think it's a good thing. Event material. This and this ring might not be able to hold out for much longer if this keeps up. Oh God. If Unbreakable lands on the Chico's Requiem and the ring breaks, that's gonna be that's gonna be horrible. No kidding. He's too busy trying to snap and friggin' violence his fingers. He needs to go for something. He needs a strong power move or some kind of submission. If he can get his hands on that, Violance might not have much of a chance left. Clubbing Violance is back here. I think Unbreakable's okay. running out of ideas here. I mean, he's hit him with literally everything he's got. Oh, God. Violance oh. is back up. Going for some kind... Oh, tried to lift him up. Didn't work. Unbreakable with a reverse DDT. Oh, kick to the head. Violence. No, no luck there. And into the corner. Both men really laying into each other here. Counters left and right. Look at this. Headbutt. It's the world championship on the line. I'm not surprised, but still. And Unbreakable stomping on the wrist. One of the focal He's points go behind that. Finisher, otherwise... oh, another headbutt. Unbreakable has been damn near unstoppable this entire time. Oh, he's doing it! Oh, 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 oh. Violence fighting tooth and nail trying to get out of it. I think he might not have it. Unbreakable has got that locked in really tight. No, he didn't get him to tap out. But he did wear him out significantly with that. Hard shots here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. oh, God. Oh, wait. You're too close to the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Aye. Unbreakable Once making more. the same mistake he made last time. Too close to the ropes. Bullfrog splash. He's got to go for a cover now. He needs he something not. to go for him. What is he doing? Oh, Violence, I think, tried to collision, and he didn't connect. Oh, no. That was a lucky break uh -oh. from Breakable there. Oh, oh no. dear. Oh, no. One finisher into another. Oh, God, right in front of us here. Jeez. I saw his head flatten on impact. Christ. There's a one thing that's scary about seeing Inklings or Octolings in the ring. When they hit the when they hit the ground, you see the impact. You don't just feel it, you see it. We should be glad that Unbreakable doesn't have any bones, because otherwise his neck would have snapped. I have no idea if he's even conscious anymore. I he don't think he is. At this point he might not be, and if he gets hit with a collision, even worse. Power bomb! Or that That's it! That's it. He's that done. He's One, done. Two, One, two, three. three. Holy What shit. a match between these two. That was unbelievable. I'm at a loss. For un oh, my God. Unbreakable what? is out on the floor. He's sitting up and he's laughing. What? Look at the look on his face! What do you mean he's laughing? The look on his f Oh, whoa, whoa. Here is your winner and still hey, XPWL hey, hey. World Champion, Violence! <gasps> I think Violence just forced him to look into the eyes of the one that defeated him. God. Then again, I think Violence is actually really... I, honestly, I think he's really humbled how this match went. Like, that look on his face is an intimidation. That's surprise. I don't think he was th expecting Unbreakable to do the damage he did in this match. Either way, 
What a match indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the rampage continues. And the next time you'll see us will, ironically enough, this week be Wednesday night as we will be holding a special Wednesday night whirlwind as we will not be airing Saturday Night Slam Masters on Saturday. Instead, we'll be going to the Splatlands in Splatsville to check out the Splatoon 3 premiere, Splatfest. That being said, we hope to see you guys all there and tune in during the week. You never know when we'll be seeing some Splatoon 2 practice. That being, one. that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, for all of us here, for JC the All-Star, for the Inverted Shadow and myself, have yourselves a good night, and we will see you through the week. Ooh, take care, everyone. Holy cow. <laughs>